Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. We're just out for a drive here at Goose Island State Park. I'm going to drive over and see the uh, the big tree, the big oak tree. And it's pretty cool here, pretty cool. According to the map, I just go straight on across here. And uh, it's a four-way stop, I guess. No, three-way stop. So let's go see the big tree. Temperature right now shows to be 24. Notice there's no snow or ice stacked up on any side, any, on either side of the road. The road's very clear. There's no snow or ice in the trees or whatever. So yeah, this area, we didn't get much, but up in Lano right now, I think it's about five degrees. According to my map, which has got to be accurate. You know, if you had a really tall motorhome, you'd have trouble here because they got oak trees uh, overhanging the road all along here. Shouldn't be too far. Yeah, then I'm going to go into HEB. I need to, may need to buy some gallon jugs of water if they have any. Uh, you know, who knows what they'll have and won't have because, you know, it, it's times like this that people go nuts. It's kind of like hurricanes and stuff. You know where they just go in and clean off the shelves and it may have happened here i'm not sure we're gonna find out here in a little bit because I, I i saw people driving across that bridge the causeway or whatever you want to call it across copano bay or aransas bay whatever it's called and uh, so we'll go that way into rockport here in a little bit but yeah well, there's nothing here i mean if you compare this with the austin texas area Dallas, Fort Worth, you wouldn't believe the difference. Now some of these bushes here are not giving me a lot of clearance. I'm getting better at paying attention to that though. I'm getting much better at being aware that I'm 11 feet tall. Well it says the trees down here somewhere. I don't see no tree. I mean I see some trees. Yeah, see that one right there? That's pretty close. Okay, where is that? They ought to have a sign. It says big tree. Hell, I, I'm, I'm looking at the map, and it shows you just to go up here to Park Road. Well, this Park Road 13 just makes a big loop. That's what it shows. Very interesting, but stupid. Well, we're at 8th Street and Palmetto Street, wherever the hell that is. And all these low overhanging trees are not really encouraging me. Well, we'll oh, it shows you it's turning. We cur well, is this a T? No, there's not. It shows it tees into another road, and then we go right, and uh, but I, there's no scale. It doesn't say, you know, one inch equals 20 miles or what. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusty trying to find the big tree, the big oak tree. It's actually just called the big tree. And as popular as it is, you'd think they'd have signs along here that says, big tree, big tree, but they don't. We're at 12th Street now. All right. Well, that ain't no help. And this sign here says, dead end. Well, do I want... Oh, here's a sign that says big tree. Little old bitty sign there on the right. <laughs> Little sign in the whole neighborhood right there. Big tree. Come on, guys. Show some coot. Now we're going into the sun, but look at this tree up here. Can I, I, I'm, yeah, I can make it. I can make it. Famous last word. 
Yeah, but for a guy in a big old motor home, some of them are like 13 feet, they couldn't make this. They may not know it till they got here, but they'd be stuck or have to back up. Okay, guys, we're headed to the big tree. It's right near the, the water. It's just a big old oak tree. It's scattered, it's, it, it's just a huge old tree. I'm gonna find out about it if I can. I'll tell you all about it. If not, if I can't find a sign or it's too cold for me to get out here, then uh, just check Google for the big tree at Goose Island State Park, Texas, because that's where we are, right near Rockport. It's a pretty dry, at least you get to see what it looks like down here. There's a little ice on the right, not much. Okay, there's a sign that says firewood. Yeah, the weather, the bad weather's behind us now. The worst is behind us. Uh, yeah, we, uh, but man, it's been, it's, this is the worst weather I've seen in Texas and I've lived here. I was born and raised here. I'm 75 years old. Kind of like a hundred year flood. Notice I said hundred. See, it's not hundred, it's hundred. No trespassing over there. There's another old tree there. Oh, there it is, right straight. In. Well, you can't hardly see it. It's it's uh, off to the left here. It's a, it just scat it's a big old huge thing, man. It's, it's got big old limbs all over it and stuff. And I'm gonna pull in here, but I wanna pull facing that sunshine. Why? Because I want it to keep my RV warm while I'm out walking around here. Him, you know what I mean, him? Over him, get over him. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get out, we're gonna, we're gonna walk. We're gonna go walking. We're gonna, it says big tree. Well, we got it. We're going to go see the big tree. I'm going to face this thing right in the sun, and then we're going to take the phone out of the holder, and we're going to go peep. All right, we're going to do that. I don't think it's going to be too crowded, so I'll just park here right in the middle of everything. And uh, what else I got to do? You going to leave it running or not? Uh, or not. Cut it off. All right, whoa thing, whoa. Let me get the phone out. Phone out. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's go see the big, we're going to see the big tree. Ain't this exciting? This will be another viral video. People from all over the world want to see the big tree at Goose Island State Park. And here we are. Which one's the big tree? Is it that one? Or that one? Or that one? Or that one? Let's go see. Okay, it's got a, it's got a sign. It says... Big tree. Ooh, it is a big tree. Let's go see it. No, this thing is big, guys. I just spotted it. It definitely stands out in the crowd. But these are live oaks. Big, huge live oaks that have been here for hundreds of years. See that? Not hundreds. 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 It's a hundred years old. Isn't it a beautiful day, though? Isn't that a beautiful shot? See how those old limbs? That's just a limb going out there. But these old trees are older than dirt, and they've survived God knows how many hurricanes. And... Uh, is it cold? Yeah, it's the damn cold. <laughs> How cold is it, Rusty? Oh, it's it's cold, very cold. And you see that right there? That's ice, and that's slippery stuff. So we're going to avoid it by going around it. Is that smart? Yes, sir, it is. Because, you know, you just, I'm telling you, ice is amazing, man. Okay, let's see if there's anything that tells me anything about it. First of all, I'll let you look at That's the big tree right there. That is the B-I-G-T-R-E-E. -E. And is it a big tree? Well, it's not real tall, but uh, it's got a huge base. Let me get up here and I'll let you look at the base. I mean, it's huge. See how thick that thing is? It's probably, I'm going to guess, let's see, one, two, probably 10 feet across at the base, at least 10 or so. We'll go up and let you look at it all the way up. But you see those old gnarly limbs and stuff? This old tree has seen a lot of history. It's even older than I am. The first time I came here, it was just a little bush right down here. <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay, let's see what it says. Respect the fence. Okay, the big tree has survived for nearly 1,000 years. Okay. 
That's all you wanted to know, right? And the reason I'm hurrying along here is because it is cold. But we have now seen the big, big tree, the old big tree at Goose Island State Park, Texas. This is Rusty 78609. It's really pretty. They got a fence all the way around it. Isn't that nice? Nice cedar fence all the way around, protecting the old cedar tree from all the visitors that come here with no couth, no suave fare, and no manners. Yeah, but that's it. Let's look at the base one more time, and then we're going to go get in the truck because my hands are frozen to the phone. <laughs> Notice there's nobody here but me, right? Wonder why. Wonder why that is. You know, we just had the worst weather we've ever had in the history of Texas, and I'm acting like it's a uh, sunny day. But th this old tree here ain't bad. <laughs> yeah, this thing here's got to be, you know, it got some years on it too. Here comes somebody going to tell me to do what to do. Now look, where, see where they're parking? Look here, look where they're going to park, right in front of my guy, RV. I mean, they got the whole parking lot over here. God damn, I'm telling you guys. God almighty, isn't that something? I mean, ta-da, and here's the whole parking lot, starting right here. <laughs> it's sick, man. I guess he's setting up a roadblock. You could have parked right in front of me, fella. Good morning. Oh, how you doing there? Uh, pretty good. Well, I'm just so excited for you, I could just scream. I, lost, I thought I lost my phone. <laughs> well, that, call yourself on the phone. Huh? You Where'd you lose your phone? Hang on. So Hang on. Let me do you a favor. I'll call you on the phone and it'll ring. Uh -huh. You want to do that? Yeah. Hang on. Just a minute. Uh, what is your name? Bernie. B -E -R -N -I. Uh, old Bernie. Yeah. I'm helping old Bernie here, guys. Uh, what is it? 512? Five one two eight four five five eight seven eight five eight seven eight, and see if you can hear it ring. Should be ringing now. You got it. Yeah, it fell under the floor mat. All right. No problem. That's why I carry two phones, one of them. But anyway, enjoy your day, Chief. No kidding, about time. Be careful. Adios, amigo. No good deed goes unpunished, guys. No good deed goes unpunished. Oh, is it cold in here? Yeah. Let me put the phone back in the holder now, guys. We ain't through. The, this video is one of them continuums. You see what I mean? Let's put it like that. There we got it. Hoo-hoo, we're good. We're good, dogs. Okay, I'm going to have a swaller of my water now. See there, I did that guy a favor. He has never found that phone. It was under his floor mat or something, he said. Okay. But yeah, that's what you do if you if you misplace your phone. Uh, just call yourself on the phone if you got to know. That's why I care. I got two. Actually, I got three. I got one uh, that's with AT and T, and two with Visible. Okay, guys. So now, what are we gonna do? We gotta turn, take the brake off, Rusty. Take the brake off. Take the brake off. I wonder where this goes. Let me let me get some directions here from uh, this thing. Hang on, guys. This is this is an adventure. Directions to Rockport HEB. The best way to get to HEB. It's got to find me first. Head west on 12th Street toward Oak Shore Drive. West? Am I going the right way here? I don't know if I'm going west or what. Continue for one mile. 
Let's go, lady. See, isn't that wonderful? That, don't you love technology? Y'all are getting all this live. So you got to see the old tree. You got to see me save a guy life. Got his phone. See, he hadn't had it. Oh, it's 32 degrees now. Huh, interesting. No wonder there's water dripping off my roof. I got to pay attention so I don't take a tree limb with me. But be that as it may, guys, we have seen the old tree over an uh, old oak tree over a thousand years old. A thousand years, you know? Gosh, am I? That's something. Yeah, it must be warming up nice because all the ice is melted on the windshield, I mean, down at the base here. I don't have any ice on my RV. Well, I do have some up on the top there, but it's the water's dripping off, so yeah, we're, we're good. This old sunshine makes it nice. So, what else can I tell you guys? RVing is a way of life I'm, I really enjoy, and uh, it's addictive, and it seems like it's getting worse. I mean, or I'm, I'm, I'm still debating whether or not I want to pay four months in Lano, but I guess I will, because I don't, I, you know, at least it gives me a place to call home, but it costs me $3,900 a year, and I use it about $2,000 worth. Yeah, you better move over, boy. Goose Island, who would have thought? Well, you know, it was three, it was, what, I'm, I got about 10 topics going on in my head right now, and, and ain't none of them coming out right. <laughs> I'm gonna start editing my videos, that's what I'm gonna do. How would I edit them? Boy, there are some low limbs here, I'm totally, I'm a totally glad I'm alert. <laughs> in here guys old rusty smoking do i continue straight thing i don't know this thing is not helping me a lot here this is 12th street and it shows me it tells me to go straight okay thing you're not joking with me are you uh i'm not too excited about this direction you know sometimes Google will get you there, the Google Maps, but it'll take you down a creek bed. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah, we're rolling now. I feel better. You know, I, you know, cabin fever, I, I tell you, people that live up north, I have to respect your uh, patience or whatever you want to call it, or your endurance your, to be able to be, endure being indoors, confined for extended periods of time, like months, you know. That's why people from up north read more. They play they play a lot of indoor games, you know, like chess and stuff. And people down here don't do that, or very few. We're gonna let this video go for two days and two nights. Y'all gonna have more entertainment than anybody on, on YouTube. Goose Island State Park, Texas. We just went and saw the big tree. We helped a guy find his cell phone in his pickup. He thought he had dropped it on the ground, but he hadn't. It was in his truck. So he, don't, you know, that is a relief. I, I know the feeling. I have misplaced my smartphone, and it, it is not a good feeling. Sun's coming up. We got cakes on the griddle. Life ain't nothing but a funny, funny riddle. Thank God I'm a country boy. Amen, brother. <laughs> I just love shit like this, guys. I ain't got a damn thing to do and all day to do it. I mean, it's crazy, isn't it? No, we're going we're gonna to go. See, but what's neat, see, I made me some soup yesterday. And I can go downtown now and I can heat it up in the microwave if I want to. And, uh, yeah, I can do any. I, I mean, this is all totally self-contained. I just love it. I mean, and I don't have to get out if I don't want to. Now, this guy's going to force me to get over here on the right. And there's a damn. Why don't you go ahead? Go ahead. Gotcha. Thank you very much because I didn't want to. 600 feet, turn right onto Seaside Loop South. Turn right. Somehow, Miss Google, that does not sound like the direction I should be traveling. However, you Take the next right onto Seaside Loop I, South. I am going to do it, lady. Patience, patience, patience. Ain't you got no manners? Sheesh. 
I'm going to take this is the next right, and it, this is Seaside Loop South. In case y'all want to know where I am. Continue on Seaside Loop South for half a mile. All right, I'm going to continue on it for half a mile. That's what I'm going to do. You know, I'll have to end this video here in a minute, guys. This thing go on for seven days and seven nights. We'll end it when I get up here to this highway intersection. Because I'll have to constipate, I mean concentrate, going over that bridge. Because I'm sure it's not icy because I saw cars going over it. But I am going to go at extremely slow speed. I tell you what, they have a big bridge in Corpus Christi, Texas that goes up real high. And if you're, uh, you know, one of those people that doesn't don't do well at heights, you know, you get dizzy or whatever, vertigo, whatever they call it, you'll get it on that thing. I mean, I've gone over it a few times, and I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, this thing is weird. I mean, it's just you just go and like around Fort Worth, they have some of those. I call it like a spaghetti bowl. You know, all these roads crisscrossing and stuff. You know, and they got some of them that are really high up there in the air. You know what I mean? And you know that's a mess right now. I know you want to know that. But it is a pretty drive around Rockport, Texas area. It is. I've never been out here, I don't think. And it's certainly better than just sitting there at that spot and looking out the window like a little bird. There's the Federal Wildlife. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, lady. At 800 feet, I'm going to turn left on 35 south. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, guys, from uh, near Goose Island State Park on his way to Rockport Grocery Store and then downtown. We'll do, I'll do another one. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? Because it don't cost you a penny, man. Not one, not one penny. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, drink plenty of water. Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Keep your health. And I'm getting warm inside of here now. How about that? Anyway, guys, enjoy. Bye-bye.